If you have a look at the pan there guys, you'll see the smoke is just about finishing now. I'll put a bit of oil in, that'll tell me how hot it is. If it runs fast, it's hot. If it moves slow, it's medium. So we're looking at approximately medium there, probably still a little wee bit hot. I'll give it a little bit longer, drop a little bit more heat out. Right, in about a minute from now, I'll add about the same amount of butter. You actually want to cook your fish in the butter, but if you use straight butter, it'll burn in the pan. You use oil to cook your butter to cook your fish. Rightio. So we're going to go about the same amount here. Now you don't want to swim in it. It's no bloody good. It's all soggy then. Put that into there like that. And again, you can see approximately how hot I am there. We're not real whizzing. If you are, just take off the pan for a bit, otherwise you'll burn your butter. When you burn your butter, it tastes burnt on your fish. So we'll give that a whiz round. Like this. Just let it all dissolve nicely. Right, uh, it's probably a little bit much in there, but oh well, wipes like that, we'll survive it. Right, we're just going to chuck it back over there, off the heat. Now we're going to do our fish. Here's the old cooking cook. All right. It's the original chicken one, not the fish one. Righty, simple. Spread her out through here like this. You can also put it in a bag and drop your fish in there too and shake it around, does the same job. All right, we're just going to sneak back over here, guys. Here's our fish drip drying. And we're simple. And to here, like that, like uh, that. Yeah. But more, so you don't even have to use flour or egg, everyone says use that, you don't need so it. No egg. If you use egg, it puts too much coating on and the coating overpowers the fish. So just while that's happening, we come back on there. What's happening to your Alright, we're going to come into here a bit more. <laughs> you can cut them up smaller if you've got a heap of guests and you just want finger foods. But we're kiwis, we like big finger foods. Not... <laughs> exactly right. So Jenny Craig don't live here, I'm afraid. <laughs> so again, we're going there. We're coming back over here, and it should start to just sizzle. Oh yeah. There it is, just sizzling. Just sizzling away, guys. Oh, look at this. So no smoke coming off. You got smoke. You're too hot. The other thing is, don't crowd your pan. The reason you don't want to crowd your pan. If you have too much oil and stuff down one end, yeah. just suddenly move away from it. Like that. If it's too dry, just give it a drink and let it go back. Simple as that. And just go away. Now as it starts to come white, you can see this is still clear. As it starts to come white, somewhat like a pipe flip, we're going to three quarters cook it on one side and a quarter on the other to finish it. Fish will go very dry if you overcook it. So just medium heat there going on and keep an eye on it. Now clearly these smaller pieces of fish are going to cook faster than this fella over here. So we could well have these ones out of the pan before that one. So keep an eye on it. And you'll see the white creeping in from the edge. This is fish cooking here. This is raw here. So we're going to wait for three quarters of that fillet to cook and then we're going to roll it over. When you roll it over, use an egg slice. The reason being, since we've cut it and shortened the grain up, it's very soft, it'll fall to pieces. So Morris will just keep an eye on that, I need the fish slice. Okay. Well, are you learning a lot? I'm learning heaps, that's why I'm watching. Okay. As everyone else should be. <laughs> right now again, the difference between cooked fish and burnt fish is probably one minute. So we're going to watch it. And you can see this one here is coming along quite nicely. If you have a lot, two thirds of it is now cooked, rising up through here. Mm. If we look over here, it hasn't even started to discolour. So we'll move that one there. I think these fellas are a bit dry. Let's give them a bit of cooking here. And we're back to it again and again to fall away. This fella here is also getting pretty close to underway. If you have a look at the white rising through him. Mm. There like that. Now that butter on that um, that coating there really makes it nice. If it's too dry and not enough butter, it doesn't come out sweet. So you can see here, this one here is starting to look pretty good. Oh, look at that. That one there, I'm thinking we can give that a bit of a whiz take. 
So this fella here, just keep on going. Every bit of fish is cooked individually. This one here, I'm looking at it's 50% cooked, while the other ones are not far off coming out of the pan. So we'll keep it going. We don't want to cook the shit out of it. We want some moisture in our fish. Good cooked fish. When you break this open when it's out of the pan, you should have a bit of steam rising out of it. Mm. So we're going to keep going longer there. I think that little bit there could be just about done. <laughs> You've been involved with the fishing industry for a while, uh, Carl? I started on fishing boats in 1982, uh, worked through for some time there, and then in the fish filleting for a long time, a uh, very long time. So, yeah, but us Kiwis are just jacks of all trade. Generally, uh, winter time could be filleting fish, summer time could be harvesting fruit. You just uh, turn your hand to whatever's paying at the time. Right, we're going to get a bit of plate there, and we're done. Get cover. These girls enjoying the uh, the food expo. Food expo. The seafood. Yeah, the boys are cooking. The girls are drinking wine. I think it's a great combination. Absolutely, that's the way it should be. Yeah. So what we're going to do there? When you take it out of there, always leave your fish to settle for a couple of minutes. Otherwise, you won't taste a lot, it's just too damn hot. Yeah. Right, Righty-o. So, the, right. yeah, as you can see, those ones are cooked. This one is only just turned over. Ramsey. So that's about where we're at. So... Thank you, Carl Ramsey. We're going to let this yeah. cool down. Morris can be the, give us the verdict on what's going on. Now, are you going to have any salt on that, or does it not no, mess? As it is, mate, the no. no. only thing you might do is add a little zest of lemon if you feel that way. Boom. But how about we try it first, then try the bit with the lemon, and tell me what's going on. Not too much lemon, lemon will make it soggy. Just a few drops to let it happen. Okay, I'll we'll stop there. How hot is, is it? Hot? Yeah. Oh, man, that's... Yeah, it needs to rest oh. Now, I'm going to put the rest of it. That's all right. Wow, oh, that's just absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Mmm. Michelle, you don't even like fish. Yes, I do. Oh, do you? Yeah, I like fish. I don't like mussels. Oh. Or, mm. Mate, oh. oh. Mussels aren't fish. Oh, you can try that. Try this. Well done, Carl. That's just absolutely delicious. Mm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh. Look at that. Right, if you feel like, um, break it open and show them the texture inside it, the white oh, fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, mm, that is good. That's how it should right, be. We have a look here, guys. You can still actually see no, moisture in it, but it's still well cooked. There's no clear flesh in it. It is white, but it still has moisture in it. Mm, beautiful. That's not salt in it already. No. Well, it's in the seasoning. It's in the seasoning. Yeah, and I'll just grab paste it here. Coat and cook. Because I used to always coat it in egg and then try and keep the breadcrumbs on it, and it always fell off. Okay, so. Well, there you go. Thanks, Joel. Bloody awesome. Oh, yeah. um, if you have any complaints, don't blame me. Blame the main man from Otchewake, Cow here. And uh, thanks for tuning in to V5 Live. And we'll keep you posted. V5 Live. End. <laughs>